Happy Friday, Pioneers, and welcome to this week's Flag Salute. Today is Friday, October 9th, 2020, and we are ready to begin. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Remove hats, caps, or anything else that might be on your head. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the, the flag, flag of the United, of the United States, States of America. America. And, and to the, the republic, republic for which it stands, it stands one nation, one nation under, God, under God, indivisible, indivisible with liberty, with liberty and, and, justice and justice for all. all. Now it's time for Mr. Riley. Mr. Graniel is going to cue it up so that we can sing our school song. Mr. Riley, thank you so much for leading us in our school song. And boys and girls, I don't know if you noticed, but Mr. Graniel was not dancing during the school song. But don't you worry, I'm going to teach him all the moves so he can make sure that he is right along with us next week. Have no fear. All right, announcements for today. School Seesaw, you guys all have your grade level accounts and some really cool things are coming out from Miss Sherry and Miss Jessica this week. So make sure you look for those. We'll push them out on the website and through your grade level Seesaws, but I don't want to steal their thunder. They're going to tell you about that. I also want to remind everybody to check your email and read your planners. There is so much information that is being shared through email from our district office as well as in our planner from our school. We give you everything that you need to know to be a great, successful BES student. And parents and family members, we wanna make sure that you know everything that's going on. So please always take time to read those emails and go through our planner so you know what's happening at BES. Next week is parent-teacher conferences and we are super excited. When we have family conferences, it's another great opportunity to talk about how your student is doing, how things are going with online learning, what support you might need or what support your kiddo might need. And we are really looking forward to these conferences because online learning is challenging. It's challenging for us, it's challenging for you, and it's challenging for your kiddos. And the more that we know and can work together, the better the outcomes will be for every single student. So make sure that you've scheduled a parent-teacher conference for next week and mark your calendars. It is a modified day every day next week for our kiddos, which means that lessons and learning are done at 1.35. So just to parents, make sure you know that that's a change in schedule for every day next week. And your teachers might modify that schedule with their asynchronous and their synchronous activities. So just keep a close eye on your grade level seesaw, your class seesaw, your Google Classroom, so that you know exactly what your schedule is for next week, conference week. Also with conferences, we just need to let you know that Friendship Room and Lunch Bunch will still be open at their regular times. So no changes there, but VAPA, PE, and library will all be asynchronous. So they won't be at their normal times. Your teachers are gonna schedule those throughout the week. So again, check in with your teachers and you'll know exactly what the schedule is next week for conferences. Ooh, that was a lot of sharing for me. I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Sherry and Ms. Jessica to share a few things that are going on with our SEL team. Hello, friends. Um, I'm Miss Jessica, and I'm the social worker here at Barnett Elementary. I wanted to remind adults and guardians and parents that next week we will be having a 
a bullying workshop on Monday the 12th at 6 p.m. And if you look in your seesaws, you will see um, a Bitmoji classroom that I've made with books, readings, activities, um, all along the lines of bullying and empathy. And my challenge for you guys this week is to be a positive pumpkin, be kind to yourself, and how are you being kind to yourself? I love it. We will make sure to post that activity and get some positive pumpkins on our seesaws. What about you, Miss Sherry? You have some announcements for today? I do. Hello, Pioneers. It's Miss Sherry. I hope you guys had a great week. Um, I just wanted to remind you that on Monday, October 12th, during Friendship Room, we're going to have a fun Jeopardy game, and the questions are all going to be related to our theme this month, which is bullying and empathy. And everyone who participates will have their name entered into a raffle, and I will pick one winner from each grade level. So I hope you all come. So it's good to think about what bullying looks like and ways that you can prevent bullying because that will help you for your game on Monday. Also, I wanted to let you know that um, in your grade level seesaw and on the Barnett website, we'll be having, um, I have a library with books related to the theme and I have a Bitmoji classroom for kindergartners where there are books and coloring sheets just for you. So check that out this week. Thank you. That's awesome stuff, Miss Sherry. I can't wait to check it out. I hope everybody else does too. Now it's time for Mrs. Balk. Mrs. Balk, do you have some birthdays for us to celebrate? I do. Are we ready? Hands up. Hands up. Okay, celebrating their birthday Friday, October 9th. In Mrs. Budwine's class, we have Maggie Osteen. <laughs> and in uh, Mrs. Slokowski's class on the 9th as well, we have Jack Mueller. In Mrs. Camacho's class on the 9th, we have Josephine Heath. Happy birthday. In Mrs. Justiani's class on the 9th, we have Jax Belden. In Mrs. Hooten's class on the 9th, we have Whitley Daria. Hope I got that right. Happy birthday. And in Mrs. Smith's class, we have Noah Santiago. All right, on the 10th, in Mrs. Udell's class, we have Jacqueline Baldwin. On the 10th, in Mrs. Suvin Lossie's class, we have Xander Steinbauer. On the 10th, in Ms. Grakowski's class, we have Maddox Lutman. And in Mrs. Smith's class on the 10th, we have Asher Namath. Celebrating their birthday on October 11th, in Mrs. Miles' and Mrs. Garcia's class, we have Gray Gentry. In Mrs. Smith's class on the 11th, we have Mia Duran. On the 12th, in Mrs. Budwine's class, we have Haley Boone. And in Mrs. Schlemmer's class, we have Grayson Freischman. Happy birthday. On the 13th of October, in Mrs. Budwine's class, we have Olivia Barreto. And in Mr. Riley's class, we have Ricky Miranda. Happy birthday. On the 14th of October, we have in Mr. Maurer's class, Alexis Hassan. In Mrs. Hooten's class, we have Dove McDonald. And on the 15th, in Mrs. Suvalasi's class, we have Damian Mendoza. And in Mrs. Zara's class, we have Ezekiel Taylor. And in Mrs. Schlemmer's class, we have two students. We have Wyatt Foxwell. And Jaden Rodriguez. Happy birthday, everybody. Okay, here comes our joke of the day. Ready? What do you call a cow with a twitch? What? With a what? what? A twitch. A twitch. A twitch. A cow with a twitch. Beef oh, no. jerky! Ah! <laughs> ah! Jerky. See that coming? They really did it. I had no idea. No idea. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mrs. Bauk. You're welcome. All right, Mr. Granielle, you want to close it up for us in this Friday flag salute? I do. So, happy Friday, everyone. So, we want to thank everyone who came to our ELAC meeting. So yes, we had our ELAC meeting this week and we like to thank all the parents that came up and it was a whole 
two parents, but we want more parents to come. So we are going to be sending out some more emails and you are going to be hearing about, about more ELAC meetings. So I will be sending out a survey to parents just to figure out what our needs will be. And so please, 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 if you can send that back to us, we will appreciate it. So we want everyone to have a wonderful weekend and I'll hopefully see you guys next time. All right, bye, Pioneer.